How's it going? Doctor Incompetent here, and let's play some Stone Shard, shall we? Well, uh, I got out of the one jam, but I did set myself on fire, and I'm in pain. Horrible pain. Um, and I don't even know if I can do much about that at the moment. Um... Let's see, let me look at my inventory. Do I have, I guess I do have all kinds of ways to treat this, right? Um, I'm not bleeding, but I might want to use, uh, you know, a healing salve on myself. And my hand appears to be in bad shape, so I healed that up. And uh, I'm still in pain, and I guess I could use some ether to get rid of this pain that I'm in, which is increasing my fumble and damage taken by quite a bit. So let me use that. And now I'm intoxicated. Um, and let's see, do I have... Uh, what do I need to clear that? Uh, water. Um... I might not actually have what I w would need to get out of this jam. But I suppose that's okay. It's better, I guess, than being in pain. So I'm going to walk around. Just explore. See what I can see. Alright, I'm going to um, break that, and nothing in there. Then we'll go over here, and, oh, we got, looks like a, a surgeon's toolkit. Inju so it's like by holding this, um, it gives injury treatment plus 75. Greatly improves condition of a selected body part. Um, pain suffered during the operation depends on the current condition of the body part. Yikes, that sounds kind of grisly. Um, I don't think I need these diary pages, honestly, beyond lore. I could be wrong, like maybe I want them, but I've already read them. Now these are still worth stuff, so let's keep those around. Um, I also don't think I need shackles. Probably want to get rid of those. And then eventually, like, my spare weapons, meh. This shiv, not so much. Can we sort this stuff? Yeah, sort it, thank you. Perfect. It is hotkey T to auto-sort your inventory. Beautiful. Alright, I'm holding down alt, I'm looking around, and I'm gonna... Um, I used my examined surroundings, I didn't find anything else. I'm gonna... Do it again, and I'm just gonna walk around using the arrow keys. All right, looks like the tunnel has collapsed to the north. Not good. And this question mark must mean there's some really great thing over there. I'm looking around, and yeah, it is. Um, it's a harbinger. It's a proselyte, secret cultist. And it's suspicious. Uh, it says proselyte women aren't uncommon, but many of them can't withstand the transformation and lose their mind in the process, turning into raving furies. I don't know what that is all about, but I'm going to shoot my... Uh, too far away to shoot my spell, so I, I'm going to walk forward one. Now they're no longer suspicious. The exclamation points mean... Um, they have an objection from Phoenix, Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney. No, it means that they see me and they're coming at me. Okay, and we're going to just cast our fire spell. Now, I fumbled it, um, but it still hit. And um, let's see how we're doing. They're at 3% health, so, um, you know, we'll just wait. 
And, you know, I could just, like, on my secondary uh, weapons panel, just have, like, a bow and arrow just for some range. Why not? Um... I mean, I'm not good at it, but they just stood there and let me shoot. So that's that's good. I pushed W to switch weapons. And we'll just pick this up. And uh, they didn't have much, but they did give me 113 experience, which... Cool. All right. Um, I'm going to step around here, and I will look around. There's a, a trap. And we actually disarm that trap. And we got ourselves 25 experience for doing that because we're doing a good job. Let's break that up. There's some human cages. I don't know what this box is. It looks like a confessional. All right, here comes a, a baddie. And we'll just give you that. And then I'm going to switch weapons. And I'm just going to shoot as much as I can at this I don't mean does time not pass when you're shooting seems like ranged attacks are pretty good if they're just not moving while you're shooting uh, I'm gonna search again nothing all right nothing there and all right, uh, nothing there. It's sad. Okay, go over here. Open the door, searching it up. Pressure plate. And we caught on fire. Boy, I tell you what. It's, uh, it's a sad situation when... Uh, can this fire go out? Or are we going to die from this? Can I use this water on myself? I mean, <laughs> this isn't going so well here. Guess use it on your head? No, I just died from being on fire. I mean, I have to say, I'm not really sure. Maybe there was a way to stop being on fire that I didn't know about. Uh, maybe I could have used the water skin on myself, but I have to say... I, all I would did was try to disarm a trap. It didn't work. It hit me, and it just killed me. Um, so I guess we're loading the game now. And, oh, sweet God. All right, I guess I should be saving it more frequently. I, I am not good at this game. All right, get, get that. Okay. Uh-huh. Read it. Yep, yeah. and we'll just take it. Okay, we're going to go to our other weapon slot. We're going to equip this and that. Um, and I'm just going to drop that and that. And then the sword. Let me get rid of this. Get rid of this. Okay, cool. Uh-huh. I'm still doing the tutorial. That's how back that's how far back I went. Um with my save. It's a, it's a shame. Okay. Well, all right. Let's save it this time, but I'll tell you what. Yep, I I failed again. <laughs> and I'm on fire. And this time I'm just going to try it. I'm going to see if I can um, pour over, like, myself. Okay, you can. So for future reference, you can pour water on yourself to get rid of being on fire. However, um, my water is now empty. Like, I used all of it. So that's, that's a thing. I got some mead. Maybe I can use that instead. All right, let's go to this shelf. And, huh, 
Alright, there's some of that there. Okay. Alright. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually uh, save it. I mean, all you can do is save and exit, huh? Jeez, alright, I guess it's a roguelike. Yeah, that's what I mean about this game and saving it. Like, okay, so you killed me, and then I had to go back to the auto save, but there's no other way to save it. So you got to be really careful, I suppose. Um, alright. Here. Oh, I got hit with... Uh, I've been dazed, and now I can't use abilities. Well, that's alright. I'll just shoot you. Boy, I'm bad with this. Um... Okay. I, why is this thing so much harder than it was before? Yeah, it just it just randomly rolled as like way more difficult. All right, now we won, but it didn't give me any different experience, and it just decided to be uh, extremely challenging. All right, so um, am I bleeding? I'm in pain. I'm still in pain. Alright, now I'm really intoxicated, but I'm not in pain. Well, um, pick up some arrows, I guess, and we'll go over here. Oh, whoops, that was the trap that I, uh, last time I had figured it out, but this, I did not this time. All right, um, let me search for traps. Nothing. Okay. Bust this open. A bottle of oil. All right, don't pour that over yourself if you're on fire. Pro tip. Okay. And what do we got? A sword treaties three. Um, all right. Actually, it sounds pretty good. Uh... Hmm. Alright, fine. Alright, we got these. Perfect. Alright, perfect. Alright. Um, what you got over here? Mysterious potions. Alright, well, let me use my um, identification scroll on this. What is this? Painkiller. Oh, okay. Well, that is cool. Nice. Uh, I'll take it. Alright. Here we go. We're going to go down here. Alright, there's a bad thing coming. Boy, that ability is so rough because it means I can't use my abilities. Not very good shooting on my part. I'm hitting the door a lot. Okay. Uh, let's just use our magic again. Okay. Man, these things are so hard. All 
Alright, magic. What is this thing? Good lord. Okay. Um. Oh, I got it in the net. Okay. Well, I guess the throwing net was useful. Oh, you can't quick bar it? Come on now. Alright. Um, we found a sheath. Okay. And we'll go over here. And over here. What is this? Enchantment. Oh. Alright, yeah, sure. Use it on my weapon. Okay. And then... I don't know. Use it on my bow. Great. What do we got? It's the crushing peasant bow. Now we're talking. Locked, huh? All right, it's time. Got it. It's a bat. Man, even this bat is tough. Okay, well, or not. Oh. I should really just run away. Until I can just keep using my men. Oh, this guy's on fire. He still made it, though. Alright. I am thirsty. Alright, uh... I don't know. I could drink that and become drunk. Oh. The vivifying essence. The gold nugget. Alright, well, we did get that. Where in God's name am I on the map? Is there a map? Uh... Yeah, I'm pushing in, but there's no... Nothing comes up. Alright, I guess we just go down here. The tremors are coming from upstairs. Oh. I bet everyone was taken there. I have to find my way up, whatever it takes. All right. Um, who's this dude? Wow. All right, so you had some good stuff. I'll take your hat. Your arrows are extremely welcome. What kind of, um, are these, what kind of bow did you have? Longer range. Yeah, I mean... I mean, it's worth so much money, it's ridiculous. Old contract... What is this? Yeah, this Gambison is... a million times better than what I have. Put it on. Um, we'll take all of this if we can.
antitoxin. There we go. Um, what do I want to get rid of? What does this say, first of all? Seventh of Bloom. With this paper, we, Barves the Elder, and every denizen of Manshire pledge to pay a bounty of 1,000 crowns to every man, be it a commoner, a mercenary, or a noble knight, who will take on the task of descending into the Abbey of the Holy Revelation, cleanse it from the spirits or any other filth inhabiting it, and return back safe and sound with proof of their deed no later than in 20 days starting from today. We hereby sign this. All right. Well, they tried. Did they not? Um, I guess I don't really need bread, but thank you. Oh, they do have a crude longsword. Let me see how much better it is than what I have. Um, well, let me see. Um, if I were to... Oh, let's just temporarily drop some stuff and make space for this so that I can see what this thing is. Um, it's 24 slashing damage. Oh, but it's, two, it's two-handed. I'd like to be using a, a shield. All right. Okay, fantastic. Here we go. And... We're back in the cellars. All right, let me look for traps. Bookcase. God, there's... Um, okay. All right. Bookshelf over there. All right. And I'll look for traps again. And there's, like, some kind of death trap over there. There's no reason to go over there. And so... Um... I, yeah, I mean, I could go for the 25 experience, you know. It would actually level me up. But I don't want to just die at the hands of some trap that I could have avoided. But, oh, what is this? And it's a trap. Yeah, we disarmed it. The noise trap. And now we're level 3. So let's go here. And, um... We get a skill point. And so, uh, let's just get stronger. And then over here, we could learn the sword ability. Cleaving strike. But what about another spell, right? Takes a lot of energy. It has a cooldown of eight. Now well, this actually takes a lot of energy too. Um, I think let's go with Ring of Fire and just give ourselves something else to learn that's on a different cooldown. All right, here comes a baddie. Switch and. The bow that we have now is actually really, really good. At at range, anyway, is what I mean to say. Okay, so I'll use Ring of Fire. Alright, that worked out. And I'll just, I'll just wait until the fire is gone. And looks good. Now my mana is... It, d it restores over time, I guess, as long as I'm not hungry. I'm still thirsty. I might have to drink my alcohol. I kind of hope not. Mm. Nothing. Nothing in this wardrobe. Alright.
God, I'm still intoxicated from the ether. It feels like it's been days. I have light thirst. It happens. Switch weapons. Bust this up. I got a pair. Yeah, a pair should, like, immediately... Um, I'll pick that right back up. A pair should help your thirstiness. Just saying. Alright. There's a death trap. To avoid it. Found anything yet? Oh, that's pleasant. Um, iron ingot. Hmm. I'm gonna drink it. We are drunk. Oh, there. I didn't finish it. Okay. Um. Hmm. That'll help with the intoxication, anyway. Um, a large plate. It doesn't sell for very much. Alright, well. I've got blurry eyes. I'm almost done with being drunk, though, at least. A horseshoe. Okay locked. We know what to do when it's locked. We just apply the lock picks. Okay. And anything valuable? Not really. Shelf. Nope. Oh boy. We're in the corrupted chapel and uh, we need to escape the dungeon by and explore the chapel. And um, here's the abbot's note. Uh, let's see. Einer, there is some alarming news from the capital. People say that King Etbert, blessed be his name, is gravely ill and has been fighting death for a week now. Perhaps it's just rumors spread by his ill-wishers. It's no secret that his majesty has many of them. Nevertheless, we shall pray the host... Uh, for our monarch's swift recovery, relay to the rest of the brothers that we will need another service tonight. Abbot Vidian. Yeah, well. I don't know if anybody's been doing any good work here for quite some time. Alright, so, um, we're thirsty, we're intoxicated, and, uh, we are trying to get to the bottom of this, but... We've got some more to go, and I think this is a good place to end this second episode uh, with our character here in Stone Shard. We've died to flames, but we learned sort of how to put them out. But now I'm just trying to figure out, you know, how to fill my water skin back up, if I can, uh, at some point to deal with thirst. But maybe we'll find a cache. I don't think this cart of bodies that are infected with the plague is going to do much for us, but we'll have to find out. Everyone, I want to thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a like. I hope you have an excellent evening or day, and I'll check you guys next time. Take care.